At this point, we know how to use BEDMAS, or order of operations, and we also know how to deal with integers. So, our next step is to combine these skills and solve problems that require a knowledge of what to do next, BEDMAS, and knowledge about how to deal with the mixed positives and negatives. So let's jump right in. Example 1. Negative 4 plus, in brackets, 6 divided by negative 2 minus negative 5 times 1. Now, we notice that there are a lot of brackets here. And sometimes we use brackets so that the negatives in a number aren't that confusing. For example, if we didn't have brackets here, we would see a divided and a minus sign side by side. Now that would be confusing. Also, the number out here, maybe this was a drop in temperature. The temperature dropped by 4 degrees. Putting it in a set of brackets helps keep us organized. Anyways, one of the most important things to keep in mind when dealing with integers in BEDMAS is that we'll be seeing a lot of brackets. Given that, we need to recognize that the B in BEDMAS is telling us to deal with brackets if there's something that needs to be done within those brackets, an operation. When we look at this set of brackets here, there's nothing that we need to do in there. No operation. It's just a minus 4. These brackets, therefore, are not related to the B in BEDMAS. Let's get started, starting with B for brackets. Again, lots of brackets. Which ones include operations? Well, there are definitely lots of operations to do in these brackets. So, we have a mini BEDMAS within these brackets. No exponents, so let's start with the multiplication and division in here. 6 divided by negative 2 is negative 3. And negative 5 times 1 is negative 5. We'll strategically keep brackets around them to keep track of all of our signs at this point. With multiplication and division done, we're ready for addition and subtraction, and this is a good time to remove those extra sets of brackets. Negative 3 is easy, and with 5, we have two negatives in a row, which is a positive. So, negative 3 plus 5 equals plus 2. And we're finally done with the brackets and the mini bedmas within these. So, negative 4 plus positive 2. Now, the negative 4 has just been carried along to this point, but all we have left to do is addition. So let's get rid of these extra sets of brackets and get it involved. Negative 4 is easy, but there's two positives in a row, and that's a positive. So finally, negative 4 plus 2 equals negative 2, and we're all done. Note, that we had to be really organized in order to get this question right. Smart use of brackets and also note that we included the entire question on each line of the solution. Don't get sloppy and leave things behind. Let's try another. Example 2. 8 times in brackets negative 2 plus 5 and on the bottom negative 4 minus in brackets 1 minus 4. Again, Lots of brackets in this one. Some have operations, while others are just to keep track of negative signs. Note that we also have to treat the division as if the top and bottom were in brackets. So where to start? Let's do a mini bedmas on the top and the bottom, treating them individually on each step. If you find this too confusing, you can of course do one at a time. But let's see if you can follow this. On the top, we have a couple sets of brackets. These have an operation in them. These are just to keep track of the negative 2. Within the bigger set of brackets, we only have an addition to deal with. So let's get that sorted. Negative 2 plus 5 equals positive 3. Okay, so that's it for the top. On the bottom, we have these brackets with an operation in them. So, 1 minus 4 equals negative 3. And we're ready for the next step for each the top and the bottom. On the top, we have a multiplication left. So 8 times positive 3 is 24. On the bottom, 
we have a subtraction left. So let's remove the extra set of brackets. Negative 4 is easy, and minus minus becomes a positive. In this step, there's nothing to do on the top, but we add negative 4 and 3 on the bottom to get negative 1. Our last step is our final division. 24 divided by negative 1 equals negative 24. Our final answer. In this tutorial, we combined a couple of familiar skills, bedmas and integers. We found the key is really to keep organized, using both brackets and lots of steps in our solution.